Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel Polito and today we're going to be doing a bar workout. So you are going to need some dumbbells. You can use one to five. I'm going to be using three pound dumbbells because we're going to be doing a lot of reps. So we're just going to start with a warm up. So all we're going to be doing is we're just going to be bending our arms and stretching them. And then you're just bringing your knees into like a knee drive here. And you're just doing that at the same time and alternating. Okay. So we're going to start with two weights here and we're going to do one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second eight here, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Now from here, we're gonna twist. So opposite knee to elbow, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Good, we're gonna come down into a forearm plank here and we're just gonna hold for two eights here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and tapping right knee, left. Good. Continue, one more eight here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna rock. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, coming onto our hands, bringing our knee into our chest. And five, six, seven, eight. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay, lowering down. And from here, we're just going to come down onto our back. And we're going to do some sit up here so it's like a crunch so we're not going all the way up here and you can put your arms and reach them out in front of you you can put them behind your head or across your chest okay so i'm going to go behind my head and we're just doing up and down two good three and four and five and six and seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good, we're gonna pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, and we go again. One, and I want you to think about lifting with the core. Three, four, Five, keeping the elbows wide, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you want to reach your arms up this time for the pulses, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, relax for a second. Okay, from here. We're gonna bring our legs into some scissors, so we're just switching. We're gonna lift our head, neck, and shoulders off the ground. And we're switching one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now from here, we're just gonna do some toe taps. So we're doing one, and two and three and four five six and seven and eight good we're gonna do one more eight here one and two and three breathing four continue five keep the core good keep the back flat seven and eight Good. From here, we're gonna go into our bicycle. One, good, five, six, 
seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay, from here we're gonna grab onto the back of our thighs here and we're just crunching up again. So we go one and down. Good. Two and down. Three, really pulling yourself up. So I want you to really hold on to those legs and actively helping yourself up with the arms. Good, so they are engaged. Good, let's do one more eight here. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Good, okay, lying down. Now we're gonna turn our feet out into a first position here. And we're just tapping our heels together. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna cross two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, one more, eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the legs lifted. Now we're gonna continue crossing three times. You're gonna bend and then extend out into a middle split and then lift. So one, two, three, bend and extend. Good. This is three, bend and extend. So every time you cross three times, four, Good, and then really opening to your max, carefully lifting, five, good. We only do this eight times, and lift, six, bend, extend, seven, bend, extend, eight, this is the last time, bend, extend, and we go back to crossing, one, two, three, Four and five, six. My pants are becoming shorts. One more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We lower down to the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing three eights, so we take a while to go down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Last eight. One, two, Three, four, hovering, five, keep crossing, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Okay, good. Now from here, we're coming back into that plank. Okay, so we're going into a forearm again. Good. And we're just gonna hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, we're gonna rock for one, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower. Good, okay, from here, just press up into Cobra. Press those shoulders down. Feel the core still engaged. Chin is nice and lifted. Good, breathing in and out. One more time, in and out. Good, okay, from here, come up into a downward dog. And if you wanna walk it out a little bit, good. Carefully walk back to your feet and slowly roll up. Good, okay, now we're gonna grab our dumbbells here. And again, we're doing higher reps, a lot of exercises, so make sure they're not too heavy, okay? So from here, we're going into a parallel position, just hip width distance, so we're not doing too far, but they're not touching either, okay? And just a slight bend, so it's comfortable here. And then we're just gonna start with some bicep curls, okay? So what we're doing, we're not doing how we usually do where you come down from here, right, and you go the way up, all the way up here. What you're doing is you're kind of already lifted here, and then you're just bending and opening. Okay, so we're gonna do eight of those, then we're gonna pulse, and then we're gonna do some more, okay? So here we go, so we go one, and open, two, 
and three, four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Now we pulse in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more eight. One, two, three, four. Keep pulsing. Six, seven, eight. Now we go back to full range for eight. Good. This is three, four, and we're starting to walk out five to the sides. Six and seven and eight. Good. Now we pulse again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go back to full range. Two, three. Bring it back to shoulder width. Four, four more. Five. Breathing. Six and seven. Last one. Eight. Good. Okay. Roll the shoulders for a second. Good, just breathe in, relax the arms for a second. Good, okay, from here, we're bending our arms and we're just lifting up and down. Okay, so from the side here, just up and down, okay? So I'm gonna do it on the diagonal so you can see. And we go one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, and eight. Good. One more. Eight. One and two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Good. Okay. From here, just shake it out for a second. Good. Just relax the arms because we still have a lot more to go. Okay. From here, we're coming into our car driver. And we're just driving the car, essentially, so we're just going up and down here, okay? So we're gonna do that for two eights. If you wanna start the first eight a little bit slower and smaller, and then the second eight, larger movements and a little bit faster, okay? So here we go. Slight bend of the knees, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second eight, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good, shake it out. Okay, so from here, we're gonna bring our arms all the way up to a 90 degree angle and they're parallel here, okay? So we're not turned out like this, but we're parallel. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift for two counts, lower for two counts for one eight. Okay, so here we go. We go one, two, three, four. This is two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, good, seven, last one, eight, and down, good. Okay, from here, we're gonna continue going back into that position, and we're gonna lift alternating right and left, okay? So we go right and left, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight, one more eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Good, lower, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing in that position here. So we're just gonna draw little circles out and in in that same arm position. And we go out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay, relax. Okay, from here, we're in that same position with our legs. We're going into some lateral lifts here. So you're just going straight out to the side. Okay, so here we go. And one, good, two, I don't want you to go too fast because I really want you to feel everything working. Four, five, and if you ever feel like you need to go heavier or lighter, that's perfectly fine. And eight, good, we have four more, nine, and 10, good, 11, 
and the twelfth one we're going to hold and pulsing up two three four five six seven eight and lower good okay from here we're coming into a second position and we're going to do a low grand plie okay so the lower you go the harder it is and then we're going to bring our arms into some goal post raises or a shoulder press depending on what you know it as so we're going all the way down and we're going 12 times up and bend two three four good keep going five and six halfway there seven eight nine and ten eleven and twelve we're going to tap the weights together for two eights one two three four five six seven eight two two three four five six seven eight and lower good from here we're going to bend over to a 90 degree angle if that's too much for you you can do a little bit less okay so we're bending our knees and all we're doing is we're just extending here so it's just like a tricep extension so we're going one and bend two good three and four and five and six good seven and eight we're gonna hold and pulse one two three four five six seven eight and bend and extend two good three four five six good seven and eight we're gonna pulse again one two three four five six seven eight hold one two three four five lift higher seven eight and lower good okay from here we're going to come down onto our knees and you can either sit on your heels here or you can stay lifted okay and you can use one dumbbell or weight or you can use two and press them together and so what we want to do is we don't want to let the elbows go out here but you're trying to keep them together okay so we go one and lift two good three and four five six good seven and eight and we're going to pulse for two eights one two three four five six seven eight one more eight two three four five six seven eight and hold one eight two three four five six seven eight good stretch lower put them down to the side good okay from here we're going to do two eights of push-ups okay so we're working on those arms a lot okay so nice shoulder width distance apart not too wide and not too narrow either and then you can either do like a full like all the way up here position full push-up position or you can come down onto your knees like me okay and you can bend them as well as keep them extended just make sure you're in line here okay and we're gonna do one and two so however many you can do in two counts of eight four five six and seven so even if you're going slower that's fine one two three four and five six seven and eight good okay Ooh, send the hips back good releasing the chest to the mat good if you do yoga you might know this position here so it's like a child's pose but we're keeping the the bottom lifted good okay then from here we're gonna go into child's pose and then I want you to just flip your palms up towards the ceiling good and we're gonna hold a slow eight here so one two three four five six seven eight good lifting here now we're gonna come into some 
tricep dips, okay? So what we're doing is we're bringing our hands towards our bottom here, so we're not turning them out here, but we're turning them in. And all we're doing is just lifting down and up, okay? So we're gonna go down and up, two, good, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Good, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower, good. Okay, from here we're gonna extend our legs out in front of us. We're just rolling the wrists here, rolling them the other way, good. And then you can flex your feet, extend, lengthen forward. Okay, we're just gonna hold here for a little bit, really lengthening from the spine, thinking almost of sending your pelvis and your sit bones kind of back so you can actually lengthen more because if you think about rounding them towards the mat, you're gonna round your lower back. So think about lengthening and almost sticking them out and back. Good. Then from here, I want you to point your feet, lengthen even more, and see if you can reach further. Good breathing here. We're just gonna hold for one more eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, now coming up, we're gonna open into our middle split here. So if you're not quite ready for a full middle split, that's fine, okay? And then from here, we're just gonna walk forward and we're just gonna hold for two eights. So just releasing any tension. Good. Breathing. If you have any pain or you're holding anywhere, you're specifically really tight in a specific area, try to just think about breathing, targeting that area, and just trying to release it, okay? And slowly, carefully coming up. Good, and then from here, we're just gonna lengthen over to our right side. And we're holding one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Now we're reaching up and at a diagonal here, so it's kind of behind us. Good, six, seven, eight. Good, now from here, I want you to face your legs, so you're trying to keep your hips on the ground here, right? your, not your hips, sorry, your sit bones on the ground, but I want you to twist here, and you're trying to lengthen the upper body towards the right leg, okay? And we're holding for one, two, three, four, lengthening, five, six, seven, eight. Now back to the side. Good, lengthen more, and switch everything on the other side. So we go one, two, breathing, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, up and back, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, Eight, now you come up and face the left leg. Good, lengthening. See if you can reach further. Might be one side that might be a little bit tighter than the other. Good, and then lengthen back over even more and come up. Good, from here we're gonna bring our arms to fifth on O or you might know it as third. Okay, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna reach over and come up. So we're really targeting the obliques here and come up and Three, good, four, and five, six, good, seven. Challenges the balance a little bit. Good, now we're doing the same thing, but now we're trying to tap even further. So now if you can tap the floor, that's great. If not, you can tap the knee. Good, three, Four, it helps me if I find something to look at in front of me. Good. Six, seven, and eight. Good, okay, from here we're gonna bring our legs together for a second and stretch our arms out. So we're just gonna cross our right arm in front of us and just grabbing with the left, okay? So we're holding one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, then reaching your right arm behind you. And then I want you to just grab your right elbow here and then I want you to pull it and then reach over towards the left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, and slowly lengthen and switch sides. So grabbing the left arm with the right hand now. Good, five, six, seven, eight. And then just grabbing the left elbow and going over to the right. Two, three, four, lengthening, five, six, seven, eight. Good, come up. Okay, good. Hopefully the arms are a little bit more stretched out. Now from here, you're just gonna come into a standing forward fold here. And we're just gonna bend the knees and extend. Good, two, and extend. And just bend the right knee and hold. Good. And then carefully switch sides. So now you bend the left knee. Good. And then you can grab opposite elbows. See if you can go even further. Kind of sway side to side a little bit if you want to shake your head. You can nod your head yes, shake no. Good. And then just carefully rolling up. Okay, good. So now from here, we're gonna move into some leg work, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our legs. So they're gonna be in a hip width position here, okay? And you're gonna be, go up onto elevate here, um, and then you're just gonna bend your knees, okay? So I'm gonna face this direction, and I have one hand on the bar, but you can also put both hands on the bar, and if you want, you can face the bar, okay? So from here, we're gonna come up, and to elevate here. And then all we're doing is we're just bending the knees, okay? So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down and up and two and up and three. Good, four and five and six and seven and eight. Good, we're gonna do one more eight like this and one, and two, keep the core nice and activated. Three, challenging yourself to go low. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, from here we're gonna lower the right heel, and then left, and a right, and left. Continue like that. Five, and six, good, seven, and eight. Eight. Now from here, I want us to lower the left. Good, keep the right up and we're just gonna pulse down. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch sides, one, two, three. Keep the core, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna hold and lower both heels down and up, two, three, Four, good, five, and six, and seven, and eight, good, and then just hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and stretch all the way up and lower. Good, okay, now we're gonna put our feet together. So they're gonna be touching here, knees touching, everything squeezing together, okay? So pretend like you have a very thin piece of paper here. So we're going up into elevate here, and we're just going down and up. Keep the chest lifted, and three, and four, and five, and six, good, seven, and eight, we're gonna do one more eight. One, and two, and three, and four. Good, five, and six, and seven, and eight. And we're gonna pulse, so we're gonna go three times down and then stretch up. So we're gonna go down, lower, lower, and up. Good, and down, 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 and up. And three, up, good. Four, 
and up. And five, up, good. Six, up, and seven, up, eight. Now we're gonna pulse for two weights down. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. One more, eight, two, three, four, lower, five, six, seven, eight, hold, one, two, squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, lift up and lower. Good, from here we're gonna stagger, so you're going to a parallel fourth, right? So if in ballet we're turned out here, now we're parallel, okay? And so we're going up onto elevate here, and we're going down and up. Two, good, keep the core, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good. Now from here, we're gonna stay low, we're gonna lower and lift the back heel. The right heel, the front heel stays lifted. So we go one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, we repeat with the front heel. Okay, so now we lift the back heel, front heel lowers lifts. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Good, now from here we're gonna stay both lifted, lowering, and we're pressing these out and in. Two, three, four, four more, six, seven, eight, stretch everything up. Good, shake it out for a second. And we're doing all of that with the left leg in front. Okay, so here we go. Lift up into elevate and lower. We go down and up. Two, keep the chest lifted. Three, four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, we go with the back heel, one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. We go with the front heel, one, and two. The lower you go, the more fun it is. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We go out and in, out to the sides. Think about isolating, only moving the knees, right? Try not to bounce up and down. Good, let's do two more. Last one, and stretch. Okay, good. Now from here, we're gonna go facing the bar into our second position, okay? So we're just gonna go down and up, and two, Good, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, we're gonna lift the right heel and stretch. Left, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, stay down. And we're gonna pulse with the right heel lifted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Both heels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left heel, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, both heels, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, lower the heels, stretch up. Good, okay, from here, stretching our quads, so we're grabbing our right foot here, lengthening in that lower stomach, trying to bring the knees in line here. Good, you can slightly lean forward, see if you can get a little bit of a deeper stretch. Good, just breathing here and carefully release. So switching sides now, lengthening in the lower stomach, squeezing the glutes. Good, breathing and carefully release. Okay, we're coming back to our mat and we're gonna do a second stretch here. So now we're gonna go into a, essentially like a low lunge, but you're dropping like your back knee, okay? So from here, you can either keep your hands on the mat or you can keep them right above your knee, like on your thigh, okay, wherever is comfortable. Just breathing. One more, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really squeezing the glutes. Think about bringing everything together so you're really targeting that hip flexor there, and we're gonna do a porter bra back. Two, three, four, five, six, open, seven, eight, good. From here, we're sending our hips back, lengthening with that right leg, seeing if you can flatten your back, okay? And then from here, see if you can flex the foot. Good. Breathing deeply. Good. And then from here, see if you can go even further. And then carefully, if you're ready, slide into your split. If not, you can do pigeon pose where you bend the front knee but keep the back leg straight. It would be bent at like a 90 degree angle. If you're in your split, then you just come forward and we're just holding here. Good, carefully coming up, back to that position. Good, now you're gonna bring your arms to the inside of your right leg. I want you to swing your right leg back here to arabesque, adjust your arm position, and bend your elbows. One, two, three, four, five, push back. Good, okay, now we're doing all of that on the other side. So I want you to bring your left leg forward, and again, making sure we're squeezing, thinking about lifting up and forward, not just releasing here, okay? Good. See if you can keep a nice posture here. And then bring your arms up to fifth or no. And we go back, two, three, four, five, six, open, seven, eight. Good. Send the hips back, flexing that left foot, lengthening here. Good, see if you can go a little bit further forward. And then carefully sliding into that split or into your pigeon pose. And see if you can port a bra forward. Good, and then coming up, back to that position here. Oop, good, now bring your arms to the inside of the left leg, swing the left leg back. Good, and from here, bend those elbows. Two, three, four, come up. Good, be careful, lower. Okay, good. From here, we're just gonna come up into a downward dog again. Good, and you can either walk your hands back to your feet or you can walk your feet forward to your hands. Good, and carefully just come up. And from here, we're gonna work on our glutes some more, okay? So we're going back to that bar. And then what we're doing here is, I'm gonna face the bar, but just to show you. So you're bending your standing leg, 
slightly forward here. And then all you're doing is you're just lifting to the back and down, okay? So just to make sure I don't trip over these in the future, I'm gonna move them, okay. So here we go. So again, we're bending forward here. Slight bend in that back leg here, or sorry, in the standing leg. Straight back leg, no bend back here. And all we're doing is we're leaning slightly forward, really feeling that glute already firing up, and we're just lifting up and down. Two, I want you to think about lifting, keeping the core, really think about activating, using the glutes to help you lift. Good, and we are turned out here. Six and seven and eight. Good, now we're gonna sweep out to the side. So we're going up, side, and back. Good, that counts as one, two, and we are going to more of the diagonal angle, not completely straight side. Four, five, six, good, seven, Last one, eight, hold out to the diagonal. Good, make sure you still have a nice bend here and we're going up and down. Two and three, four, five. So the torso is not straight, six, seven, eight. Good, now for me I want you to bend, extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, from here hold and go up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold out, two, three, lift higher, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, okay, from here, I want you to just bend your right knee, if you need to walk back a little bit and just release down, good. And if that one doesn't hurt as more, if the other one hurts more, you can switch. Just see which one you feel like needs to stretch more. And if you want, you can put your hands on the ground. You get a little bit of a deeper stretch here. Good, now carefully come up, make sure you're not gonna hit the bar. And then from here, we're switching. So extending our left leg back. Everything from the beginning. So we go up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, we go out and back. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, now from here, we go again. Up, two, three, four, moving with control, Six, even if it burns. Seven, eight, we go bend, extend. Two, three, four, my standing leg is dying. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good, we lift the knee up and down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch the leg, hold one, two, Three, four, lift higher, five, six, seven, eight, lower, good. Okay, from here, if you wanna bend your right now, send the hips back a little bit and just release down. Good, and if you wanna lower all the way to the floor, you can. Good, okay. Coming back to that mat again. Okay, good. We're gonna stretch our glutes some more here. So if you wanna just cross your right arm, or sorry, not your right arm, your right leg, 
Uh -huh. And then grab your right leg with your left arm and just do a little bit of a twist here. Good, breathing. And then just carefully extend the right leg out here. And then we're just gonna grab the left leg and then reach the left arm over to the right. And slowly lengthen, come up. Now you're gonna face your leg. And again, do that same porter bra here. Good, and then we're doing everything on the opposite side. So now the left comes over, grabbing the right, the left leg with the right arm, and twisting. Good. Now from here, extending our left leg out, grabbing the right with the left, and reaching the right arm over to the left leg. And carefully lengthening, face the leg here. See if you can lengthen even more. And carefully come up. Okay, good. So you probably thought the torture was over, but it's not. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come back into that forearm position here, okay? And we're extending our right leg back and we're working on our all fours position here and we're doing some arabesque essentially lifts here. So we're working on those glutes some more, okay? So I'll talk you through what I'll add on, but we're just gonna start with some lift and lower, okay? So we're just gonna go up and down. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, I want you to bend and extend. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want you to turn parallel, bend and flex, and just kick up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Good, okay, just shake it out for a second. Good, if you need to roll your wrists, just breathe here for a second. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides. Ooh, there goes my knee, um, just so you can see a little bit better. Okay, good. It's hard to keep breathing during that intense glute work. Okay, here we go. Left side. So we go one and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we go bend, extend, two. So imagine you're working on your attitude position here. Six, so keep the knee lifted, seven, and eight. We pulse up for eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. We bend, turn it parallel, flex the foot, and we kick up. And down. Two, three, four, five. Imagine you're kicking the ceiling. Seven, eight. Good. Whew. Okay, shake the arms out for a second. 
Okay, come up into a downward dog here. Good, we're almost done. If you wanna bend your right knee, the left knee, and then let's just walk it out a little bit here. Good, okay, lower back down. We're coming into our final torture here. Okay, so all we're doing is we're just lifting our bottom off the floor here. Okay, so if you've done some of my other videos, um, they're essentially just the bridge position where you just come up and down. Okay, so we're gonna do them for three minutes. So I'm gonna put my timer on here and I'll just talk you through some combinations. Okay, so here we go. And we just start hip width position, just going up and down. And two, and three. No rush here, we have three minutes here. So absolutely no rush. Five, good, be careful not to arch the back. Six, but I do want you to really press into the feet, especially the heels. Good, and then squeeze the glutes at the top. We're gonna do another eight like this. Two, good. Try not to let the knees go out too much, but keep them in the hip width position. Good. And let's do one more here like this. And then we're gonna hold up here and we're just gonna pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Now we're gonna lift the right heel and then go back to lower and lift. Two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight. Good, now switch. Left heel is up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, now from here, we're gonna lift both heels and lower both heels. So we go down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, from here, we're gonna bring our knees to touch and open, so they're gonna squeeze. Two, three, four, five, tap in the knees, six, and seven, and eight. Good, lower just for a second. Let's see how much time we have. We're gonna bring our feet to touch and our knees to touch, and we're going up and down. Good, two and three. Good, four and five and six and seven and eight. Good, we're gonna hold with the heels up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lower. Good, bring your knees into your chest. Good, whoo, if you wanna kinda kick them to shake it out a little bit. Wow, okay, good. Okay, from here, just extend for a second, and we're gonna bring our right leg here across the left thigh, okay? And then you're gonna go through and you can either grab the shin of the left leg or behind the thigh here, okay? So it's a little bit of a burning sensation for me over here. So just be gentle to start. And if you wanna close your eyes, see if you can bring it closer. Good, and then just release, carefully release, and switch sides. 
So now the left leg, good, and carefully bring it in. See how close you can bring it. Pressing that knee out and then lower. And then we're extending both legs up here. And then if you wanna just grab either onto your calves or your ankles and just slowly bring it in towards your face. And I just want you to roll your ankles out and then reverse the circle. Good, now lower your left leg down to the mat, holding the right leg. I want you to flex, bend the right knee, and extend and point. And bend, and extend, and point, and then slowly hold it and bring the right knee in towards your face. Good, lengthening. Now extend the left leg down, bend the right knee one last time, and then bring it over to your left side, across the body, extend your right arm out, and then just stretching, feeling that nice twist. Seeing how much you can lengthen the right shoulder down to the mat. And then carefully come back to center and repeating all of that on the left here. So now you can bend your right leg if you want and bring the left leg in and extend and then bend, flex and extend. Good. And then just bring it in towards your chest. Try to feel those shoulders release down to the mat. Extend that right leg, bend the left leg one more time, cross it over to the right, and now you're looking out towards the left. Good, so my left is a lot tighter, but still trying to get that lengthening with the shoulder reaching down to the mat. And then from here, carefully come back to center. Let's extend our legs one more time here and see if you can bring them even closer. You can flex, bring even closer, and then slowly let them lower to the ground here and just come up to a seated position. Good. And we're gonna inhale and lift our arms up. So we go inhale, lengthen, reach our arms up. Exhale, lower to the mat. And we're gonna circle our head to the right. Good, and to the left. And then inhale and roll those shoulders back. Exhale, good. One more deep inhale and exhale. Okay, good, great job guys. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Bye.